Hi, I am Farad, Senior Emerologist at Conceive Gynecology and Fertility Center. Conceive team always seek new technologies to help our patient. Today, I want to discuss one such technology called ICSI-PICSI, where P stands for Physiology. Usually, we perform ICSI by selecting the normal sperm, but that doesn't show that sperm is mature enough to fertilize the egg. But new technique allow us to select the uh, functionally mature sperm. Principle behind this technique is only the sperm, mature sperm head bind to hyaluronan. This is a component that surrounds the egg layers. Usually the only the mature sperm head carries a specific receptor to bind to hyaluronan. We perform usually Pixie by a specially designed polystyrene culture dish. Three dots of hyaluronan is placed in the interior bottom of the dish. When we place the processed sperm in that dish, within a minute, mature sperm start binding to hyaluronan ring. We use a fine needle to select and pick up the bound sperm. By selecting the bound sperm, we are ensure that selected sperm is functionally competent enough to fertilize the egg. So, which patients we can consider for this procedure? The patients having a poor history of poor fertilization, poor history of fertilization, this is because maybe the female is normal and she is having a good quality of eggs and the male partner also having the other parameters is okay count and motility and the morphology by looking it's okay we don't know so this kind of patient we can select for pixi procedure but when we are doing pixi usually we have observed the obvious result of fertilization with the previous history previous cycle and the present with the pixi ixi pixi and the other patients maybe they have the good fertilization but their embryo quality is not good not good so this kind of patient also we can use ixi pixi maybe the poor quality of embryo because of the high DNA fragmentation present in sperm head. The uh, DNA fragmentation means the amount of damaged DNA present in sperm head. So this lead to the less chances of pregnancies, this lead to the miscarriages, this lead to the poor fertilization. And the other patients are having the count and motility is okay, but still the abnormals are very high and this kind of patient also can go for ICSI PICSI procedure. And for some reason we are freezing the sperm, maybe on the day of egg collection the male partner is not available or maybe the male partner having the ejaculation problem. For this reason we are uh, freezing the sperm and in uh, ahead. So this kind of patient also can go for PICSI procedure and on the patient with a high DNA fragmentation. So it means I already told uh, the amount of damaged DNA present in sperm head. This kind of patients we can obviously go for this PICSI procedure and the patient with having the uh, multi miscarriages we don't know the reason, but still we can try ICSI PICSI for this kind of patients. Maybe the sperm is a cause for these miscarriages. So I just want to discuss one specific case of ICSI PICSI. So we had a couple for ICSI. This couple um, for ICSI, the male having count and motility is okay, but his sperm abnormality was 97 to 98 percent of his sperm was round head, small and without acrosome cap. From female we retrieved 14 eggs and we selected the sperm by pixie technique. During pixie we observed that very few sperm bound to the hyaluronan ring. 
we say we did xc we done xc for 14 eggs and next day we got 8 eggs fertilized day 2 and day 3 we observe 4 good and 4 moderate quality of embryos on day 5 we obtain one expanding blast one blast two marula three uh, embryos we transfer to the female patient and she got pregnant and she delivered a healthy baby at conceive we do our best to help our patient to achieve parenthood for your further information please contact our website www.conceiveivf.com